Surely that's at least a clue about something. Yeah, it's a clue about when I went to high school, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> From Ghost Snow, the guests are actually the hosts and the hosts are contestants in a really messed up version of Love Island. That's actually how we met. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> The show, the show is semi-autobiographical. <laughs> <clears throat> Dodge Singh wants to know, humans will exist in a cradle, the hosts will live in the real world. This isn't a question. Dodge is telling us what's gonna happen. Humans will exist in a cradle, the hosts will live in the real world. That's the whole point of Westworld. That's not bad. Not bad, Dodge. Donald Riley. I don't really have a theory, more an observation about the music. Isn't it all from the 90s? Surely that's at least a clue about something. Yeah, it's a clue about when I went to high school, <laughs> pretty much. I wouldn't read much more into it than that. Yeah, it's, it's kind of oldies for some people, but for us it does not, feel It doesn't very feel like recent. oldies to me, no. but that's what happens. <laughs> Annie Mackey, I think the door leads to Westeros. We open it and in storm the White Walkers. Ooh. Crossover episode. I know George R. R. Martin would like that. He's pitched that a couple times. Yeah, he's times. been pitching that a couple of times. I think yeah. we may have to take him up on it. <laughs> Is the ongoing theme an Adam and Eve thing where as the hosts become aware, eat the apple from the tree of knowledge, they will be banished from Westworld, the Garden of Eden. Also the origin of a new human race. What do you reckon? I mean, the references, the biblical, you know, symbolism of it is not totally lost to us. We talk a little bit about the prelapsarian state and the fall from, from Eden that comes with knowledge, like whether you want to live in an idyllic walled garden or whether you want to experience truth in all its tragedy, um, but uh, all the beauty that comes with having a fuller knowledge of the world. So in, in that way, I suppose it's more like a Miltonian interpretation of the Bible, uh, mm. a la Paradise Lost. Jackie Shaw says, my theory is that this is just another storyline and not really happening, and that the last episode will have Dolores waking up just as she used to, the Dallas play. <laughs> <clears throat> we thought about it. Yeah. I don't think I could, I, I could handle that frustration. I just need, I need it to all have been for something. It also presupposes that the world in which we're all watching this show isn't yet another storyline, uh, which I think is the real spoiler. <laughs>